Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Gucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. All right. You go first. A wonderful mana base. A wonderful mana base over here. Will you play Timely in the sideboard? Do we have to play Timely in the sideboard? Is there any aggro decks in the format? I mean, there could be some. All right, I managed to, this was, this was difficult, but I did manage to do so. I managed to play my lands in a way where I can't play my Narset now because of this top deck planes. I guess I could have drawn, um, whatever, I should have just played two blue lands. Uh, I think I'll continue playing Drowned Catacomb, right? No, I guess I'll play planes. Yeah, I'll play planes here. Swan Song, uh, I kind of always hate his Swan Song. Although it can counter, it can counter Wagner's Reclamation. All right, I'll play to Fairy. I was hoping they would uh, minus three it. All right, I think I'll play Narset here. Actually, they they're playing Reclamation probably. So do I want to play Teferi first or Narset first? Because if I play Narset, they can't minus three on my uh, and draw a card, which is a big deal. But I think I just want to play Teferi just because of the possibility of them going uh, Reclamation and tap the lands. Grulagra is pretty tough. I don't think so. I don't know. All right, the curve out pretty well. I kind of feel like both times I play against this matchup, I drew my two Kai's Wrath. And they got Reclamation. All right. And Legions, and yeah, I mean, not really drawing the best. I'll just say that. All right, I'll go for... I think I'll go Oath of Kaya on Tamiyo. Like, what's Tamiyo going to do here? I can go Oath of Kai on Tamiyo. I just bounce Oath of Kai, I'd rather not. I'd rather not bounce it because I have Yorian to ping the Tamiyo again. Nah, I think I'll just go for Narcissus first. Looking for Elspeth Conqueror's death. Looking for Elspeth Conqueror's death. Probably the sideboard needs some counters. I don't know though, because like the favorite is always played in these decks where you want to counter against. It's pretty awkward, making it pretty awkward. They might also have counters, but I do have to fairy down. Could have played Narsi instead of the fairy on three, but then like, what if they play main deck counters? I don't know. People love to play the. Oh wow, they got a Uro there. Hmm. Yeah, they do play main deck counters. The city is missing to call dispute here. So if they reanimate Uro now, what are we going to do? Oh, Teferone Mavala. I got a minus three on my Narset. Oh, man, a pretty good curve there. The very time you have Teferone. That's amazing. Big Teferi. I'm not sure my Narsa, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. There's no much point in plusing that thing. All right, here I will uh, go for sure on Aspeth Conqueror's death. Uh, probably on uh, Tammy, all right? I'll leave them with Tiferuna probably, right? Now the question is, do I want to bounce my Conqueror's death or, or not? Because I haven't made a land drop here. Or have I? No, I have, I have. This is turn six. So, I can keep on ticking up. I How do I deal with my Teferi? Probably another Teferone. Hello, Gira Uno. Yeah, I think I will bounce the Elspeth Conqueror's death back to hand. Alright, I go for Warden's Wreck. 
is he's gonna border for Eeyore, and it is true, but I think I can do some other little stuff. All right, I definitely have to kill this. Ah, uh, my opponent will, will grind so much advantage now. All right, we have to understand Otis crying. Sure. We can just cry my turn. All right, anyway, they do have a lot of value here. So we have to think about how to make this the best. Because I could go Oath of Kaya on the Teferi. Or the big Teferi. And then I can go Narset. They will flip that Scanta and they have Reclamation up to like do all the things. This does does this does not look like a matchup. I guess I'm not in the worst of the shapes here. I am not in the worst of the shapes here. E yeah, I'll minus three here. They have to find uh, they have to find the blast zone. If they find blast zone is annoying. But if they do not find blast zone. I'm okay. Did I just play Nexus? It's not that... I mean, it is... No, my opponent missed it. I could have drawn a card with that can't end of turn. That's definitely a misclick. Because you have to click on the end step control thing. Alright, you're kind of tilting right now. They made a mistake with that scant and now they're minus three Narset into Teferi. But I mean, the, the lock Teferi Narset is pretty brutal. Sure, they have a scant plus Reclamation, but now I'm going to ACD the Reclamation and then uh, they will still get to use one at scant per time. But... Alright, they don't draw an extra card, so once again, this is not very good. The reason why I went for the uh, Oath of Kaya Narset plan is because I, I knew that Narset shuts down very many things. They keep on... Yeah, they are... Tilting a little bit, probably. I'm sorry, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, but, but not really sorry. I'm sorry, but not really sorry. Alright, so I got a planes. And then I'll ACD the Reclamation. Not that they're using it at all, but... I think it's still the good play to make. And the reason why I love my my control deck is that I'm not really, I don't really mind too much about the fairy, time reveler. Hello, storm. Like, sure, I mean my hand is totally unplayable right now, but this is game one. Uh, do I take it up? Or do I bounce an oath of Kaya? I can bounce an oath of Kaya, right? Next turn I go with of Kaya Yorian, and now and I can just uh, reset my Teferis and such. Ontology cards, I don't I haven't been that excited about them honestly. They they they, they I previously I was very much more excited in the Ontology 2. The Ontology 3 doesn't doesn't strike me as uh, that good. I mean, the reason why we're still in the game here is that we have uh, Teferi and Narset. Those two cards are are very good here. They will get to kill some things, though, now. They play that well, though. They play this well. They they, they sequence the Uro and, uh, and Nexus of Fate in the way that they can kill my Teferi now. Okay, and unfortunately I did not draw another Teferi. Do they have another Nexus? Ulamog mostly. I don't understand why people are so excited with Ulamog. Is Legion's end for Field of the Dead? It is for Field of the Dead. Alright, so I have... Oh, bleh. I have three cards in end. We have to decide how to play this, because if I go Yorian... I think I want to go Yorian here. And exile the Uro. They can't recast it as it is. And I'll have two blockers for Uro attacking. 
Uh, I was supposed to play this first, I guess. No, not really. No, I think I'm, I'm okay with how I played it. Because my opponent showed me a Mystical Dispute in the graveyard. So I definitely wanted to play around it by playing the weaker... Sorry, the stronger card first. And then the one that can go under Mystical Dispute. And if it does go under Mystical Dispute, I don't really mind. Alright, things come back. I'll get a Plains, Exile Uro, and then have an Arset on 5. I'm looking for a second uh, Teferi Time Raveler. Oh, I've explained it, Kani Knarf. I know there's a small delay between chat and stream. Hopefully you did cut of what I said. Alright, I go Shark Typhoon for 6. I think I will chump block it with Yorin. Hopefully they don't have an Axis of Fate. That would be a big deal. They'll probably find it now with uh, with the two Atkanta activation. That's pretty bad to lose this game, but I guess it did happen here. I don't think I can... Uh, I mean, they will find an Axe of Fate now, they'll look at the top 8 cards. I mean, if they don't find an Axe of Fate, they're very unlucky. Yeah, like... Plus, they're just doing all of this with my second chapter of Conqueror's Death. Which, I don't know how many lands they have, but that's a lot. Gary Francis, it's just the Lurus is too good. I mean, they'll, they'll they'll ban it in Legacy and Vintage, and we'll go on. It's it's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal. All right, I think this is the end. All right, well played by my opponent. Very very good shown. I mean, they did slip a little bit, but overall they played this game very well. Their their deck looks to be the deck to beat in this format for sure. All right, let's go. Narset, Amurigos. Uh, do I want a Deputy of Detention? It's not very good, honestly. Deputy of Detention, because they have the Fairy. Let's see what they have to cut. So I have to cut the removal spells. They're awful. I mean, I drew all of them, and was, they were very bad. The Bazika Balant, not ideal as well. Uh, maybe I will have the two Deputies. Exalange, Next of Fate, as, sorry, a um, Search for Us Contact could... Could be important. Elder Spell? Yeah, I guess Bazinga Balant is just not good at all. I think I want to keep all the Oath of Kayas. You saw the, the, they deployed a lot of Planeswalkers. Two Ego. I, I added one that more Ego. Historic and Pioneer? Historic begins in 2017. Pioneer begins in 2012. Cards that were printed from 2012 on. Alright, let's go. Enter Stapped. Ashuk's Razor is not a good card. There's the fairy that bounces it. E yeah, I'll pass the turn. I'll just play Open of the Sea end of turn. Hmm, I think I want to draw uh, the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. I do want to draw up to, to five lands, but I also do want to draw Elspeth Conqueror's Death here. If you remember, though, I kind of I kind of did lose that game because I didn't play Narset on turn three, if you remember. I'll bounce our search instead of my Omen. Rusty Thumbona, Ma Magic the Gathering is a game for fun, so saying it's worthy on an online platform, it's always uh, how much do you worth fun. I never find myself able to answer the question, is it worthy to do something that it's clearly just spending money. So if whether you want to spend money on uh, standard draft, uh, historic or whatever you want. Alright, they do play Teferi. I will uh, let it resolve also because I don't play counter in my deck. Hopefully they... Wow, they did bounce some things. Okay, yeah, I mean, making this play these days of uh, a Shark Typhoon is very is very hard. Although my opponent uh, although my opponent missed the land drop, so they were looking for a land here. But Shark Typhoon definitely helps against Teferi. This card was, this card was a great print. Now the question is, uh, I guess there's no really a question, I just played the fifth one and 
Krass. And uh, with Omen of the Sea now, you can finally use the Teferone Mana. And also Shark Typhoon as well. Why don't you play counter spells? Because the Fairy Time Reveler is a very much played card, and I don't believe in uh, in uh, in the interaction, uh, hand disruption, or counter magic anymore. All right, I'll just grab a land. I'll uh, take up my Teferone. Probably bounce with Teferin on this. I'll play another one. Tick it up. Then I'll play with of Kaya face. And then I'll pass the turn with seven cards in hand, untapping two lands and able to cast Omen of the Sea my opponent's turn. This is what you want to do. I mean, of course, we're winning this game because my opponent missed a land drop and blah, 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 blah. But uh, whenever you are... Oh, that, that's, that's a good card here. Actually, it's not really because they have Aspect Conqueror's Death. But other than that... It was a... It does kill my Teferi. Alright, I'm looking for no lands but just spells. Any spell, I think it's okay. Um, not sure what you mean, Bacon, now. You mean casting Yorin? Yeah, I was going to cast it this turn. Alright, so kick things off with ticking this up. Yeah, unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I can't go to Fairy Tam Reveler. I have to go Spot Conqueror's Death. Mm, do I? I guess I could have Noxious Grasp in my deck, so I'll just play this. So on top two lands, and then I can go Omen of the Sea Noxious Grasp if I need to. I think Thought Erasure is not good anymore. There's just better ways to interact. You have very, very good answers right now. Alright, go for Omnivacy looking for Noxious Grass. And I found it. It's always important to know what's in your deck and what's going on. Most of the games that you lose is like because you're just playing the cards, just just clicking buttons. For example, in uh, in game one, where I didn't know how to sequence my land because I didn't know what to play around, or when the, with the other match I plus one Tamio and didn't know what to name. It's very important that you just become very friendly with your deck and you know what's in your deck and you know how to sequence the land and the cards and so on and so forth. The magic is definitely a games where game where testing is the most important thing. All right, so my opponent has double um, of that thing. I do have a lot of answers, not just Grasp and Conqueror's Death. They might just not even have a Ceratops at all against me now. Yeah, I think I'll keep the sideboard as it is. Deputy is uh, unclear. But I don't think Blizzard Gabadon does something. I definitely do not want the Kaya's Wrath, so let's go with this. Sin's not great. Going to keep it. Ah, che schifo, cazzo. Alright, the question is now, do I want to play a Fable Passage? But if so, what land do I want to get? If I get planes and then I draw planes, I can't cast most of my spells. I think it's still fine, I can cast the Teferi. If I draw any other land, I can cast the rest of the spells. But we need to draw land now. I don't know, Altered Root. I want to... Uh, 
I don't play it as untapped to bluff some things. I think I will. Okay. Do I take this option to play a Mordigo on Wadner's Reclamation? Do you really bluff Y? Uh, they might not slam it a fairy. And two left doesn't really matter in this game. Alright, I think this is not the time to play in a Mordigo. I think I will play Teferi first. And uh, rec naming Reclamation doesn't make that much of s Oh, Kapoya. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's fine. I've no choice. Naming Reclamation doesn't have that much of a sense because I... Because I... I do have the fairy that stops reclamation. <laughs> All right, now the question is, what do I want to do with the mighty fairy? Because my opponent can just play another uh, ceratops and give it haste and attack on mighty fairy. So I either bounce my birth of Meletis, which could be a good play, or just take the attack and put this down to one. I think I would bounce the birth of Meletis. Point I might even play Narset. And Bossy Birth of Might is actually relevant because I don't have a land drop next turn. Alright, so I will kill my Teferi. And now this game becomes harder. So, I think my play here, because the fairy goes to five, so this is just the natural predator, pre, natural predator of it, of it. So I just grab the last planes of my deck. And I probably play a Mordigo, but this is this is the reason why Mordigo is like one of the worst cards in standard. It's because I'm behind on board from another reason, and now I'm going to play a Mordigo on what? On what even? On what even am I going to play a Mordigo? If I name uh, Wildness Reclamation, they cannot scry with the Castle of Interest, and they also have Teferi down, so I think I will name Wildness Reclamation. Oh, it doesn't even give me a second to review the deck? I thought so. Anyway. We did our card disadvantage, our heavy card disadvantage, but let's see if my opponent's uh, plan now will be shut off. The graveyard is only one card, so this war is not going to come. Shock Typhoon can be cast, and I guess I just have to tuck it away. Alright, the Bounce Birth of Melatis, which is a pretty smart play considering that I ran out of planes. Good morning, Vittorio. Why don't I name Nexus? I'm putting couldn't cast Nexus right now. And one of Reclamation was a big deal. It was a bigger deal, let's say. Okay. Not having double blue is really bad, but I mean these three planes were gotten by my birth of Malatis, so it's not that. I I just didn't draw lands, basically. Uh they can make a shark 2-2. Two -two. How can I how can I ever be in this game? It is just so hard right now. My opponent will make a 2-2 and now I'll very likely just... So I kind of need to keep this Oath of Kaya for the Shark, probably. What are my options? I can play Teferune and draw a card. My opponent will very likely attack it. And I think I'm okay with that, right? I guess I shouldn't have played land first, that was a mistake. Of course, if they have an Axis of Fate, I die, because they make a 2 to and attack me twice. Alright, now the cards that they have to draw are Elspeth Conquest, De Dead End, and Noctis Grasp. But they have an 80 cards deck, so it'll be harder. Alright, good game. Good game. Amortigo once again loses the game. We pr probably lost regardless, just because of the fact that I haven't drawn that many answers to Shifting Ceratops. Uh, I don't know how many of my opponents 
as I many I don't know how many shifting solve my opponent has. If they have like four, I did have six answer to it. I didn't feel like boarding in Kaya's breath after seeing it. I think I'm okay with how it went. Maybe I shouldn't have deputy of detention. I should have a couple of Kaya's breath. Not sure. Good game, uh, Herbivorous. Good game, good game. I right, keep this end uh, without white mana. I don't mind. I don't mind being called as screwed with this deck. It's relevant later. I kind of really never want to mulligan, basically. It's better than ever mulligans. You should have more egos. If you think after seeing this game that the answer of this game is having more egos, it's like uh, it's like saying it's like it's like in the answer it's like the same thing as uh, the answer of a sh school shooting is to arm the teacher. It's basically the same thing, right? After after playing a Mordigo and totally losing the game because we just got raised out, the the, the reason that you think is having more egos. <laughs> Marietto. Always more eager. Always more eager. Amorti got ease. Arm the children. Eventually. Eventually they'll arm the children. Eventually. When they'll be. Alright, Marietto is taking a mulligan. The first ego was named the ego. That's true. I remember, I remember there's like been a joke in my area with the surgical out of it, like a dredge player surgical to surgical and that just started like surgical and surgical. Oh, mountain. Skirk Prospector, all right. All right, that's cool. The Gobbos. The Goblins is... Whoa, they just they just cash it in. <laughs> Alright. No, there was never a spot to play a Mord Ego because on turn four I had to make I have to play Birth of Malatis to not miss a land drop. You can't on turn four of your game just play a Mord Ego on shifting ceratops. After your opponent was already a shifting ceratops in play. All right. What cards are bad here? Uh, Narset. Probably yes, but Conqueror's Ed is not amazing. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that was fast, I agree. Oath of Kaya. Oath of Kaya is a great card. I did I did stream with goblins once. If you go to the issue mark deck, there's um there's the I don't know deck list of that. Going draw Karakun, I go playing Summon of the Sea. I don't think I want to go Legion Zand here. Mountain, Mountain, Legion War Boss. All right, that will be that will be annoying. I mean, I will deputy of the attention to Legion War Boss, but if I point out manages to kill my deputy, it's going to be harder. All right, what am I looking for? Probably lands and Kaya's Wrath, I guess, but mainly lands. All right, definitely not that one. All right, seventeen. Do you want to play this land or that land? Uh, it probably doesn't matter. I'm gonna go deputy on the war boss. And now deputy means it's not that deputy is not good against decks with removal spell. Like for example, if you're playing like the Esper Hero Mirror Match, you wouldn't have deputy. It's very good against the. Uh, Field of the Dead decks, because you just exile the Field of the Dead and you just bounce it with the Fairy, it's like kind of a loop, and it's okay against these red decks. 
where you're just tempoing, like playing like a tempo deputy. Like if they kill the deputy right now, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you still did like a good a good job. It's like a a cheap play that like makes your opponent like work a lot in order to do it. Yes, I'm playing an historic event. Deputy Boskaya's breath. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to do it, but usually, like, if my opponent didn't, it didn't answer my deputy here, I wouldn't need a Kaya's Breath. Uh, I could play Basilica Bella Hound here. This looks like the best uh, play to me. Gaining three life, making a good blocker, discarding a card. And next turn, I have a couple of Crocodiles that will win me the game. Goblin Matron. Goblin will get the Gem Palm Incinerator, which is a good card. But same same deal for like Goblins in Standard, Goblins in Modern. The things that Goblins missing the most is Goblin Lucky. I guess that's not even true. The things that Goblins missing the most is uh, Wasteland and Reshot on Port. Because Goblins is an under underpowered deck that wins through Disruption. So yeah, it's, it's that's the thing. And I can even leak them down and kill all these Goblins. I mean, sure, we're gonna win this game, but like this is maybe that's not even guaranteed now. But like this is a good match. Like Esper is very good against Agro decks. It's always been like this. Mog Fanatic. Uh, maybe now with Lurus, they do play Mog Fanatic. I guess I'm going to Fairy plus. All right, let me let me play. Uh, Teferi maybe bounce actually bounce uh, Ember Cleave. Oh no no plus 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 Teferi plus Godless Shrine tapped, pass the turn and then I have Legion Zend out already. And Legion Zend exiles all these all these tokens, right? Even if they are all different pictures, funnily enough. No, they're not. But yeah, probably Matron. If they get like Skirt Prospector to make my Legion Zend fizzle. Yeah, Scared Prospector. All right, I will answer with uh, Legion's End on this Gobbles. Scared Prospector here is not the worst. Because, I mean, I guess not that big of a deal. What's their hand? Ember Aller. All right. I'll bounce, uh, the thing is that if I, do I care about gaining four life? I probably do care about gaining four life more than I care about, uh, more than I care about drawing a card. So point will sack this cure, actually I probably, let's see what I want to do. If they sack this cure prospector, that's fine. All I want to do is me able to gain, uh, me able to gain four life with this, um, uh, and this con uh, enter God Eternal. Because otherwise, if my opponent still has the Scare Prospector, I, I don't gain the 4 life. I only make a 4-4. Four, four. I think the only way I can lose this game is if I... I don't know, just get like Ember Cleaved. It can't fizzle, but don't gain the life. Again. We... The only way, yeah, that's the only way, I agree. And now we're just in the kind of a losable spot of the fairy plus the fairy. You can cast the Valdecree as instant speed because of plus one to fairy. Why did you mail yourself? Uh, a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. The first reason is that in the dark you should always meet yourself or your opponent because you don't know what their deck is made and that could have gravier synergies. So if you don't have any gravier synergies, then you should meet yourself. The second reason is that I have search for us counting my deck. But mainly the main reason is that when in doubt you should meet yourself, especially on deck with 80 cards where decking is not a thing. In 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 draft sometimes you meet your opponent because decking might be a thing. Aspeth Conqueror is that true? I didn't think about Aspeth Conqueror is dead, yeah. 
in Verona. And concession. Or right. don't want to make their their red card quest. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I have to. I have to update one of the commands. Now, if you uh. Yeah, I'm not sure about Giruda. Giruda kind of disappeared. It is still has. Uh, it still has uh, the. I mean, the same cards and the same. Not draw. I played against this person two days ago. I think they were playing the mirror match. Yeah, but I'm not sure that right now there's those kinds of interaction. It's weak to counters, right? Yes, it is. It is weak to counters. Alright, my black-white mana base looks to be solid, although... I'm not very good at drawing Kaya's Wrath. Against the sorry, I'm very good at drawing Kai's Wrath against the matchups where it does nothing. Is weak to sweepers? I don't think that's a problem of Giroud at all. Usually, when you hit one Giroud, you're in a good place. Oh, Jess guy, cool. Is Giroud a good and limited? I didn't know. Also, I'm not sure if I should draft this some more. Maybe, maybe if I. If I lose this 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 the standard event the this historic event I'll I'll go back to drafting because last week I've drafted a bit it was it was fun. All right, Omen of the Sea. It was fun. I didn't know much of the cards. I cruise from bronze and uh, I cruise from bro oh we got an island nice. I cruise from bronze uh, to silver pretty easily, but then in golds, they're just, you know, good players showed up and I got defeated pretty badly there. I went twice, two, three in the in the in the gold queues. Maybe maybe with chat help I can get I can get higher today. Alright. Let's cast the typhoon for two. Basilica Bound, love it. Not sure though, what should I do? But put it past the turn. Maybe they have a counter magic for my Teferune? Maybe they have a Shark Typhoon. It's very likely. I should have just played a spell pre combat though. Because now if they tap out for this, I could have attacked. So I missed on two damage, mo most likely. Wow, it resolved! So surprised. I guess they have a shark typhoon. All right. Yeah, marauding raptor. That's is that an M twenty though? Yeah, so you can play that in standard as well. Yeah, honestly, it's like one of the least things I expected here. I'll chum block. Easy chum block here. I don't want my Teferi to that one of the forge. Whoa, they do nothing? What's up with that? Alright, I'll play Teferi. Let's see how it goes. They play another Shark Typhoon. But they'll. Hmm. Make a token end of turn. It's pretty sad to draw naturally planes because I have Birth of Miletus in my deck. I have one, one left. Oh, Field of the Dead? No! No! Ma dai! No, cazzo! I'm gonna lose so easily now to the Field of the Dead. It's like not even going to be close. No! Also, why this card is banned in, in Standard? You think this card should have been banned in standard chat? 
All right, let's, let's get up. I don't think I don't think basically any car should have been banned in standard, but okay. All right, I need to hit my white sources. How do we do? Sorry, blue sources. Like the question is that my then this is just mono four drop. I guess I can go Basilica Bell out and Narset. Yeah, right. My Teferi doesn't die. Actually, I can't cast Narset. What am I talking about? Uh, uh, um. So what's the way we can do the most card advantage engine here? It's probably Atrus. Finding a blue. Actually, yeah, it's probably still Atrus here. Because I'll untap two lands with Teferi. Maybe I'll find some things. Right? Yeah. Make these please happen. What propaganda? Of? I have a blade dead. All right, I'll uh, I'll shock here. I'm on twenty seven, so I'll make another token. It's Benny Pioneer. It's Ben. I mean, it was Benny Pioneer when they like couldn't care less about the format and they were banning a card every day. At the beginning of Pioneer. Now the level of Pioneer is very high, much higher than most of the cards that are banned. Like Oath of Nisa is banned, like that's just pretty unbelievable if you think about it. The question is, do I want to double block or just chum block? I think I will just chum block here. Uh, no, I'll actually double block. Yeah, Field of the Dead is annoying, but like these days you can't really have five lands in play. So I, <laughs> that game is most likely over because someone stole all your lands. So I don't think it's making that big of an impact. And it just kind of pushed the games like faster, I would say. Like they, 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 they go like either you have to go under very much or you can't go over. All right, so they bounce us with conquerors, and now I have to decide. So I can't. Do I got it? I don't think I even. I don't think I even have a place in my deck. Sorry, an island in my deck. I only have one island in my deck, I think. Which might ask ask the question: How did you build this mana base, Mangu? Probably pretty poorly. That's that's the true answer. So let's take a look at what I have left in my deck. Quattro, quattro, quattro. All right, yeah, no island. Unfortunately, I can't go Bazooka without Kaya's Wrath because they have this basic island staring at me. Which makes us such an awkward position. Like, look, I have a million card in and I can't, I can't deploy two of them. It's so awful. It's so awful right now. Tio Bono. Thank you, Vittorio. What am I even supposed to do here? I'll cast a Yorion Blink this? Ping? Whatever, I'll play Basilica Balount. I don't think I'm ever winning, so let's just waste less time than my opponent. All right. No, you, def you definitely don't want to ACD when they have ACD in hand, because you, have, you, have, you always have to ACD after ACD. It's like one of the most one of the most important rules of the of the, the urine mirror match is to cast the ACD for a second. Happy breakfast, yellow cheetahs. Although we're still in the same position as earlier. I can't double spell, which is bad. I'll go for a Conqueror's Death on the Conqueror's Death. Do they have an absorb? All right, that's a good news. I only play one island, so I have to draw, you know, one of the other blue sources. All right, I play the Sky Nomad, but it's not that good.
The Storic deck was not very good. It was fine. We beat Mono White Life Gain. If that's it's that's an accomplishment. Sorry, an achievement. Top bottom. Alright. Draw Atris. I guess that's a spot I can cast. So I'll go uh, Kaya's Wrath here, and then I'll go Atris. Looking for an island. Can I please get an island? Your, your octopus boyfriend. That's mostly what people say of past things in general. Past things are always better. The past is always better because, you know, we tend to... I actually read a, st a study, a psychology study about it. Like, anything you talk about the past always feels like, no, my opponent knows that I'm missing double blue and just puts me like this. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, look, look at this chat. I'm gonna get this pile. I'm gonna get the blue card and a spell. Are you ready? I'm gonna even predict, predict what spell it is. Blue spell and Teferi. Close. So yeah, basically in this study that I've read, they are they're saying that you know the past is always is in your in your memory is always better. Like you had a, I don't know a good uh, childhood or you had a, I don't know a better standard meta game and stuff like that. I don't know. I think like my childhood was great and past standard were great. But I think Terra Standard has always been like one of the best standard I've ever played. Like the Terra Standard that went from the world's meta game to like the very last week of a uh, Magic Fest online. It was great. Okay, yeah, they played as Auspeth Conquest. I remember whoever plays Auspeth Conquest that for last wins. I have a million cards in my hand, like a literal million cards in my hand right now. Pocazzo. All right, I go with Narset first. I go like Narset, Basilica, Bellhound. What do you guys think of this? Or I can go Atris first and then I go to Ferone. Yeah, I actually do that. I want to have an Atris in play to attack things. Narsic can find ACD. Yeah, most of the things can find ACD. Bounce Oath or with Yorian. Yeah, that's, that's true. I can do that. And so actually, I just don't care about the fear. Like, my deck doesn't really care much about the fairy. All right, I'll get this pie. What's the other one? Elspeth Conqueror's Death? Oath of Kaya. All right. E... So if I go to Ferone... No. If I go Basilica Bella, they probably have a sweeper, but what's their sweeper? You know what? I'll go Omen of the Sea and then I'll go Basilica Bella. Yeah, I just want to play some creatures to attack things and like play against the field of the dead. Alright, I don't want these cards. Already have them. I'm looking for, you know, either lands or I don't know, something else. Remember next turn spells cost two more. Thank you, Lilinux. I, I did not remember that. I did not remember that. Yeah, maybe you're right. I should have just played spells this turn. But I didn't have three blues, so I couldn't have gone Lars at Teferi. We're playing an 80 cards deck, so the line of like going Lars to find Elspeth Congress is much harder. You know? Because we already drew one, so we have like three Elspeth Congress in your top like 52 cards. You know, it's very, very unlikely. 3 out of 52 is very unlikely, so that's why I didn't want to go Narset. I just wanted to cast Threat, actually. Narset Bellhound? It could have been a good play, like, of course, now, now it is, and my opponent played a big Teferi. In spot like this, it's just... Yeah, yeah, I've got... I got got, as they say. Do I have a planes left in my deck? Like what I say, I think so. So I go birth. Unless I did, I, I mailed the planes with an actress and I didn't notice. It would be devastating. All right, it isn't. That's good. 
You always have to exile Aspect Conquerors there. You can never win. You can never win if they just get back Yorian and all the things. Thank you, Theo. Alright, my opponent will get to have Teferi twice, which is uh, very hard to beat. But I also did a lot of value in this game. We'll see, I do have a Legion's End revealed to deal with the Field of the Dead. Yeah, these games are these games are cool. These games are hard. I hope I hope you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, the Euro Mirror match is that yeah, Aspect Conquest is the best card by a very wide margin. And it's kind of funny how much it was underrated in the spoiler session. Oh no, they drew a third one, Maporka Madoska. So they drew three Aspect Conquest there, but we drew two only, so I will draw one now. I was playing the sideboards. Maybe we should have them in main deck, I don't know. Alrighty. I'll go now set and minus do it. Looking for uh, mainly Aspeth Conquest death, but oh, Oath of Kaya, it's not bad either. Because I can go Oath of Kaya Yori and kill the Teferone, right? Yorian is pretty good on this board. Yeah, I'll go Oath of Kaya. Search for Scatter can actually be also very powerful. But then my opponent will be able to bounce something with Teferi Time Raveler. I get Oath of Kaya. What's my accent? I am from Italy. Alright, 3 damage on Tiferun and then we try and resolve this Yorian. I'll blink my things. Uh, I'll blink the Birth of Miletus again. Even if I can't get a planes because I already have them all, but... Still, I don't want to gain 2 life and I try to make another wall token. I am very well, Nishnape, thanks for asking. Omen of the Sun. Oh, they must play Luke in their deck then. Field of the Dead too. That's cool. That's very cool actually. That's very cool. So players playing Luca Agent in Historic with the Field of the Dead. Alright, good idea. Alright, I'll kill Teferone. I'll miss on the birth because there's no planes left. Whoa, that's lucky. Alright, I'll draw both of those cards. We drew the third Elspeth Conquest dead right on time before theirs pop off and they get back Yorian. But now that I figure out that they have a Luka agent in their deck, I'm one much more scared because I don't know I can how can they beat dead, honestly. Or at least that will be very, very good. Like I I thought it were just a normal control deck, but now that I realize that they are playing probably the best control deck, it's going to be harder, much harder. You can get like Luca now. Yeah, poor Kamadoska, look at this. Honestly guys, I don't even I don't even know why I bother not playing that deck. I mean That is probably the strongest thing you can ever do in standard, right? I mean stronger less stronger than turn two Oko, but I don't think it's anywhere beatable. I don't think this late game is any close to be beatable. Anyway, uh, do I have a way out here? Probably not, but I'll try my best. So I'll go ACD on uh, ACD. And then I'll go Shutter the Sky, sorry, Kaya's Breath. Oh, I can't? All right, good game then. Good game, good game, good game. Look at Ulmog will be fun. Uh, Ulmog is not a good card, unless you cast it, remember. I wish my opponent would have played Ulmog. It would have just been a dude and I would have kept all my permanents. So please, chat. I mean, I guess you could play Ulmog. Ulmog is uh, good if you can cast it. 
but you have to top 10 mana to do so. My opponent could have top 10 mana to do so, of course. All right, um, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Uh... All right, let's go to game two with no sideboarding. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be good enough. I keep on drawing uh, not that many blue sources, which is uh, not very fortunate. Hello, it's Beradian. Speed drain, nobody knows, nobody knows. Nobody knows. I would say that most of the formats right now are not very, very healthy. But that doesn't mean much. Yeah, Soul Guide Lantern is a cool card, especially if you play Lurus. I was matching up against Mono Blue. <laughs> I don't know, my friend. I was matching up against Mono Blue. I, <laughs> I played like three matches of this deck and I only beat like Goblins. So, yeah, they're Lurus favor, but like I said, it's very, very diverse right now. And Vintage isn't, but I mean, it still kind of is. Like banlist usually happens when you want to when the format is not diverse, but legacy right now is very diverse. So I think they'll probably still ban it because I mean wizards doesn't really care much as long as people don't really complain. Like in these older formats. Alright, I think I don't want to play magic anymore. And I found myself in a pretty tough spot because I don't really like any of these arena formats right now it's like a